Escucho. Ông Jim Rapper Kamen Talk, 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 Jim Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je parlerai plus lentement pour permettre aux interprètes euh, d'assurer comme il faut leur travail. Professeur, selon votre expérience et l'ensemble des connaissances que vous avez accumulées, pouvez-vous me dire si l'élimination de toutes les élites, les intellectuels, a contribué à la mise en place de l'institution totale telle que vous l'avez évoqué dans le cas numéro 1. Je donne pour mes confrères le RN cambodgien 00 36 15 43 anglais 00 36 14 50 français 00 36 17 04 I'm sorry, could you give me the quotation uh, literally? Because uh, it's a quotation of something some, some I said at uh, case one. I want to make sure it's, and, uh, I, I can deal with that. Maybe you could pass me the English or pass it through the court uh, officer. Or the French would do, I can read that also. Oui, je dispose que de la, que de la version française. Le pays entier est vite devenu un environnement isolé du monde extérieur. Là, vous parlez de l'institution totale. Je précise. Une institution totale est une expression qui est reprise d'un sociologue américain qui s'appelle Erwin Goffman. C'est lui qui a employé le terme « institution totale » comme lieu tel que des prisons, des écoles, des couvents, lieu scellé, isolé du reste du monde, sans contact avec l'extérieur. Okay, uh, thank you. I was, in that passage, uh, I think it's from my S21 book, uh, I was precisely referring to S21 as a total institution, but I think I may in my testimony, uh, as you suggest, have stretched that out to suggest that uh, Cambodia between uh, uh, April 17, 75 and June, January 7, 79 uh, had been turned into a total institution by its isolation and by the um, uh, controlling uh, policies uh, set in place by the regime. Earlier on, as part of this question, it seemed to me you wanted to, you were asking if the elimination of intellectuals had something to do with this. I, I, I missed, you might repeat that part of your question because uh, I don't want to Come, come into that phrase elimination exactly since many of them were uh, failed to survive the regime, but many of them also did. So I don't like the words elimination. So we have to see what you had actually said before I get dealing with that issue. Marginalization might work or. Uh,
Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as my colleague is answering the question of um, Professor Chanter, he may also clarify whether uh, this term was indeed used in the context of S21 or in the context of Democratic Cambodia as a whole, because the professor is clearly not uh, sure about this issue. So uh, the input of our colleague would be helpful. Je peux répondre donc aux deux questions. Je commencerai pour mon confrère et en même temps cette réponse pourra euh, apporter une précision à M. le professeur Chandler. Sa citation est « Le pays entier est vite devenu un environnement scellé, isolé du monde extérieur ». À la ligne 24, vous parlez d'institutions totales. Donc, je pose la question au professeur maintenant. C'est vrai que mon terme « élimination » est un terme général. Euh, « Marginalisation » me paraît un euphémisme puisque beaucoup des élites et des intellectuels ont été euh, tués. Donc, je dirais réduit au silence. De la, ou plutôt euh, réduire au silence l'ensemble des intellectuels des élites a permis la mise en place de l'institution totale telle que vous l'avez uh, Thank you for the clarification. As, uh, as you think on your feet, uh, of course the word persecution is better than the ones I use. Persecution would seem to be a fit the criteria you've been mentioning. Um, the intellectuals were reduced to silence. Uh, indeed, they were. Um, and I, I want to make it clear that the category of intellectuals in Cambodia uh, at this time, uh, they call Nyat Cheh Dung, people who know how and people who have knowledge, um, were not primarily the graduates of Cambodia's uh, single university at this time, but were people who had been through teacher's training, completed high school, so a very small group of, uh, of intellectual people. They, they knew who they were, they could call themselves this, uh, in this category. They were certainly reduced to silence by the policies of the regime, but as I think I mentioned, um, they weren't reduced to silence. <laughs> anyway, I'm, just, I'm doing a quibble. They were reduced to saying, or doing, saying and doing only the things the regime wanted them to do. In other words, they were told to write their autobiographies. They were told to say who they were. They were made to speak out in certain ways. They were certainly reduced to silence in the way we think of the phrase. We're not being able to express ideas that might have helped the regime or attacked the regime or anything of that sort. And indeed, uh, many of the memories from people who uh, recalled the April 17th uh, uh, liberation or, or uh, obliteration of Phnom Penh uh, remembered that they wanted to, uh, these were people I've talked to who had been through high school and everything, they wanted to help these, the victors. They didn't know anything about the CPK. They thought the war was over. I've got a high school education. I can help. 100% these people were rejected by the party, except for, of course, the ones who were in the party already. And they were intellectuals. And I mentioned again the other day when they were trying to form this, uh, CVK was trying to form a cabinet that would function in 1976. They did the best they could, looking around their own ranks for people who had some competence in the subjects that they were in charge of, like foreign affairs, commerce, and so on. I mentioned that. But certainly intellectuals as a whole uh, were uh, persecuted and marginalized and, and uh, treated badly. Uh, that they were certainly not respected, and over and over again you get very, this disturbed a lot of ordinary Cambodians as well as intellectuals, very negative uh, uh, references to education. And Cambodians had, in the, when I was in the 60s, 
uh, great respect for education. Education was the way you uh, improved yourself, the way you got yourself a moral character, the way you learned things. And for the DKCPK to say education of that sort is useless. You, education is in the fields, is in work. That shocked a lot of people, not just intellectuals, because that's a, sort of I'm, I'm inventing a, 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 a conversation here. The, the, the permission or apologies. You mean my kids don't get to go to school? Yeah. Your kids don't get to go to school. This is a new country. <laughs> and so that was a, a kind of insult to, to another Cambodian tradition. I said earlier the education levels were low, but where schools were available, they were highly respected, and teachers were, as you mentioned earlier, a very respected class of society. Merci, professeur. Jean, est-ce que l'on peut parler, puisque vous dites que ils n'étaient pas forcément éliminés, mais que simplement on leur demandait d'écrire ou euh, de s'exprimer uniquement en fonction de ce que souhaitait euh, l'ANCAR. Est-ce que l'on peut parler de contrôle des esprits, de contrôle de la pensée Ce serait plus juste, I don't think it's a phrase the regime would have used, but was, I think it was something they were certainly uh, trying to do, any sort of freedom of thinking. As I mentioned earlier, uh, little chlop, our, our teenage uh, agents, would walk underneath houses to listen to people conversing. If anyone conversed in a foreign language, presumably to try and fool the people who were walking under the house, they were pulled out as, as traitors. Uh, so they were certainly um, yeah, uh, silenced. Whether they were... Their brains were washed, I think, <laughs> is difficult to say. I think a lot of these people recovered with all the resilience that you'd expect. And a lot of them are alive today and are, are very important and interesting spokespeople for either Cambodia here or for the diaspora. But uh, yeah, there was certainly uh, what we think of as thought was not uh, respected. What was respected was hard work and obedience. Nous venons de voir euh, le niveau d'éducation, l'autorité euh, accordée naturellement et culturellement à l'enseignant, puis euh, la liberté laissée à la pensée. Euh, je voudrais vous soumettre un autre euh, élément contextuel d'obéissance qui serait la dévalorisation de la victime. Avez-vous connaissance de faits ou de discours visant à dévaloriser euh, certaines personnes, certains groupes de personnes et les victimes. I can't uh, answer that question without documentation, but I know that the confessions at S21 are filled with notations by Doit. Uh, demeaning these people and saying that they're uh, worthless, uh, uh, mendacious uh, trash, uh, saying that their uh, statements so far, if the notes on a first confession, are totally worthless and you should be ashamed of yourself. So these people are basically being reduced to, to powder. Uh, now, this clearly happened in some of the study sessions in the countryside. We've had reports of, of severe speeches and, and uh, finger shaking at people who'd been at all um, contentious. Uh, I don't have any, of course, transcripts of those conversations, but survivors remember being uh, uh, chewed out by cadre at, uh, at study meetings. Uh, I'm sure we've seen some other documents today and yesterday that whole groups of people were um, set aside as special uh, victims, uh, special uh, targets, uh, especially uh, 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 adaptable to attack. The Vietnamese, uh, more former law and all, uh, former law and all people, Buddhist monks. Few, there were certain categories that were vehemently and systematically criticized in public and in front of them. They were, I mean, when they were present in the audience or of these study sessions, they were heard themselves as a group being uh, criticized. There's a lot of that going on, exactly. <laughs> Monsieur le Président, 
je souhaiterais porter à la connaissance une des positions de parti civil faisant référence à une insulte spécifique. Est-ce que je peux vous donner euh, le numéro pour que, euh, il s'agit de la D22 slash 622 en le RN est le 00 49 98 47 jusqu'à 00 49 98 61. L'anglais et le français ne sont pas disponibles. Ne lisant pas le Khmer, j'ai demandé à mes assistants Khmer de bien vouloir, et mes confrères, de bien vouloir me traduire l'expression. Je ne donne pas le nom de la partie civile. Je précise que je dispose de nombreuses euh, attestations dans ce sens-là, mais je n'en prends qu'une pour économiser le temps. Les Khmer Rouges m'insultaient toujours. Vous, Cham. Je n'ai pas réussi à me faire expliquer le... L'insulte de A Cham, vous ne disposez pas de pays, il faut donc vous faire disparaître. L'insulte résulte dans le A Cham. I think I'd have to see that written in Khmer. It's not a term I recognize, it, uh, I, I, or as an insult. But ought be you don't have Chan. I can't think what Chan doesn't spring to mind. Oui, Monsieur le Président, ces documents ont été euh, communiqués avant, enfin, comme vous nous l'avez demandé. Of course, this is, this is referring to the cham, and you said chom. <laughs> uh, of course, the, the, and the a ah prefix in Cambodian, usually translated in uh, English as the contemptible, is a it's way of dropping people down. But it, it's, uh, that's sometimes a bit strong because uh, children are called that without, without any... Uh, hard uh, feelings, but yeah, a cham it means the, the contemptible cham people who are off to one side. The contemptible sets them aside from other people. No, I mean, of course. I'm sorry to have taken the delay there. So. Oh, I'll, oh. Selon votre expérience et tout ce que vous avez pu lire, est-ce que l'abandon des corps, des cadavres, sans aucun, aucune sépulture, livrée comme ça dans la nature, au pillage des bêtes sauvages, du temps, de la pluie et du vent, ah constituer pour vous une dévalorisation des victimes. Thank you, Mr. Maybe President. Just I some object to that question. Uh, this is clearly not yes. within the expertise, some the expert expertise of Professor Chandler. He may have an opinion on this as a human being, but he is here as a historian, and what his opinion is as to what the value of the victim means to him. is not relevant to this court as part of this question. Some of the things that we have to do is to do with the value of 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 the value
manque de clairvoyance. Il suffit de prendre connaissance d'un grand nombre de dépositions, de témoins, de parties civiles, pour, et comme l'a fait le professeur Chandler, pour savoir que ces personnes ont été fortement choquées du traitement réservé au corps, et notamment lorsqu'elles sont tombées sur des charniers ou des corps qui flottaient le long du Mekong. Donc je demande juste au professeur si, selon son expérience et ce qu'il a lu, s'il a eu connaissance de ce type de traitement et comment les personnes ont exprimé. Donc c'est le travail d'un historien que de dire « oui, j'ai lu, j'ai vu ça » et les personnes étaient toutes fortement ou pas. Je ne sais pas ce que va répondre le professeur. Donc c'est le travail d'un historien que de dire ça. Mon confrère n'a peut-être pas suffisamment lu de déposition sur ce sujet-là. ក្រុមមេត្តាវីអន្តរជាតិការពីក្តីលោកនួនជាមានប្រសិទ្ធភាពសំណួរនេះមិនសំត្រប់ទៅនឹងការសួរដេញដោលចំពោះអ្នកជ
Uh, I don't think you can say they were, uh, I wouldn't use the word purge, which sounds more systematic. Uh, there's plenty of evidence from uh, survivors and uh, accounts and interviews once done that people were uh, criticized sharply for not working hard enough and for not being enthusiastic enough toward the revolution. Of course, the statute is asking for the kind of conduct that is required of, uh, of uh, party members. And when you get to confessions in uh, Tool Sling, I'm not talking about the testimony themselves, which is indivisible, but the accusations of these people were often that they had not been enthusiastic enough or strong enough uh, in uh, the revolu revolution. And this was, in fact, the raison d'etre of putting them into the prison at all. So if you were a party member and really failed this element of the uh, or thought to have have uh, uh, breached this uh, uh, line in the statute, you're in bad trouble. People uh, in the countryside, new people and base people alike, according to quite a bit of testimony, it's not consistent, but we're often given a second or even a third chance. We were told not to do it again. I'm still uh, observing you. So I don't want to use the word purge for that category. I don't think it's accurate. Merci, Monsieur le Professeur. Pouvez-vous me dire si le système mis en place, tendant à développer l'enthousiasme révolutionnaire que je viens de citer en visant l'article 4, avait des freins Je m'explique. En, la, en, la, en, en exigeant un certain enthousiasme, les cadres euh, exercés avec créativité, je reprends le mot de l'article 4, euh, les ordres qu'ils recevaient et les consignes, si ce n'était pas des ordres, qu'ils recevaient. Est-ce que, à un moment donné, les dirigeants ont considéré que ça allait trop loin et ils ont exercé une marche arrière, un frein. Ils ont freiné le dynamisme. Uh, that's another, another good question. There's no evidence that it was systematically restrained. And if you notice, I think in one of the documents we read yesterday, uh, they put the word leftist in quotation marks, and the word right is left out of quotation marks. In other words, right is kind of revolutionary, left is a good place to be, and how can you be a bad leftist, in other words? Uh, it's the same thing was happening in, in Mao's China, left deviationism, as it was called, meaning being excessively leftist was often not considered a crime but a virtue. So, in other words, this enthusiasm spilled over and was not uh, repressed uh, generally. Uh, it spilled over in lots of cases, cases in which, for instance, from my last answer, people would not be given a second chance and so forth, uh, or when people were executed in a kind of ad hoc way because of uh, snap decisions by an enthusiastic uh, cadre. So, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's for, from, they, by praising up to a limit, they're putting limitations on themselves. By knowing who the enemy is, they go after him. So in other words, this leaves us a great deal of freedom, you're suggesting this, I think, freedom of maneuver for the cabbie who have to control themselves about how they're to behave. Now, it seems to me what you get from survivors' accounts is that the more experienced cadre, people who've been in the party longer, have worked with, in many cases, the Vietnamese, but not necessarily the eastern zone, the southwest and the north, uh, they knew how to be somewhat flexible and be able to produce the kind of results they wanted. We had new, untrained, uh, and especially young uh, cadre, they would often uh, deviate to the left. But I think I've seen no uh, references to their being punished. One example, of course, makes it very macabre, but uh, too enthusiastic questioning in S21 that killed the prisoner was considered bad. I mean, that was when the beating went on too far, that guard was brought in and often killed. So, in fact, there was a repression at that level. I don't like to, on the transcript, associate enthusiasm with killing because it's just not, it's ugly. But that's what happened. Oh. Je vous remercie. <coughs>
où nous avons vu un certain nombre d'éléments constitutifs du contexte d'obéissance. Est-ce que vous pouvez me dire s'il existe un lien avec la commission des crimes qui sont jugés aujourd'hui Thank you, Mr. President. This is uh, exactly what I was afraid of earlier when I made my comments. The professor is now asked to uh, opine on the use of the word obedience, but obedience in a very specific way, which is the psychological meaning of obedience. Uh, my colleague has made it clear that he means it in that way by referring to the Milgram experiment. The other option, the other possibility is that the professor is asked to opine on the concept of obedience in a legal way, and that is not his expertise either. So I object to this question, and uh, the professor can be asked about issues relating to his expertise. សូមសុខយើងយកមិត្តវិជាតិការពីក្តីលោកគឺសំផនបាទសូមអរគុណលោកប្រធានតាមរយៈការបកប្រែបាញ់បាញ់នេះខ្ញុំបានស្ដាប
สกเดยุบตัวรบกรมเมตุบีกาเปียกระดิมีนประสิทธิภาพทุกท่านท่านมันไปคลายตอบนุ่งสมรู้จงกรอยรบได้สู้แล้วได้เมตุบีลำนางได้มันรับไปนิติเมตุบีมีนสมรู้ไปเพียงจิตได้ประตอเตยสมรู้ทำไมจูบูรุเมอร์ซีมิสเซอร์ปริสิดองมิสเซอร์ลูกพิเศษเลิกสัตว์ปราชญ์ถ้าลูกอาชีพจุ่มรีบจุนอังกฤษมาเถิดถ้าลูกอาชีพจุ่มรีบจุนอังกฤษมาเถิดถ้าลูกอาชีพพูดมาถึงนี้ว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ตอบคำถามของผมว่าคุณได้ Was different, really, from the kind of enforced atheism that accompanies revolutions and the Khmer Rouge again, an intuition and supposition have studied these revolutions. This would be one aspect that they could say, okay, one of the aspects is to throw out religious people, every other religion, every other revolution, except the American, which is the wrong one, have thrown these people out. So. Made sense uh, that, that these people should, and certainly it's to, uh, as you've been talking before, to, 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 to put down any sort of voices that might make. I know it's not like a Khmer Rouge supporter. I don't mean to. That make the job for the Khmer Rouge more difficult. You have all the voices of former authority figures springing up in the villages and on the streets. Uh, you know, you can. Do two things. You can listen to these people, and everybody starts changing their mind or falling around, or you can shoot them. No, you can shoot them. Third thing is just put them down. Make them quiet. Send them out to the fields. Make them work. They become very careless. I think that and give them the resources they may have been right. That the third solution was the only natural one they could possibly, possibly achieve success with. Uh, that they didn't achieve uh, success, uh, however, is not surprising because it's a grotesque uh, policy. Uh, to make everyone do the same, not allow uh, particular uh, people you've been uh, talking about in your questions, intellectuals, monks, and teachers, exercising any way, in any way their former authority. Because as soon as When you get to your cultural obedience thing, I'm certainly not answering your previous question, but they would be afraid that new cultural obedience might be uh, arise in which former students, former Buddhists, I mean former Buddhist laity, uh, former, um, <coughs> well, I guess you say students, uh, former soldiers who had obeyed their captains would all start doing this again with the Buddhists. So, I mean, it's not... It's uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 you're, yeah, I'm sorry. Bring out the scene. Jay, look at me. 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 Look at แต่โดยเฉพาะมันสามครัวบาสมัติเชียร์ไรสมชื่อแน่นอนบ้านมันเป็นปัญหาอะไรเจ้ตัวตายเจ้นี่เพื่อเชียร์ระเบียบหรือก็ตุ่มล้อมุ้ยในกาเพียซาได้บ่เพียซามันมือมุกนี้นั่นคือเพื่ออายเย่เจ้าเพื่อมันมันเช่นได้เห็นไหมยังบ้านจิมเรียบชุนกอดตังปิดดามตีครุบมันบกโกลตังอ๋อมันแต่เชียร์สไลด์คือเชียร์การลำบากมุ้ยนงกา
ແລະຕາມຫຼັງຈາກນີ້ຕາມຫຼັງຈາກນີ້ Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Et de surcroît, la position de la partie civile est difficile. Euh, elle se trouve quasiment dans le dos de, 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 de M. Chandler. Monsieur Chandler, Dutch indique, je donne le, cour le courrier, euh, le RN Khmer 00 78 79 36 à 00 78 79 77 anglais 00 79 19 76 00 79 20 31 français 00 79 26 95 00 79 27 41 c'est euh, un courrier adressé par euh, non, c'est les leçons tirées de l'expérience de nos ancêtres. Il explique que le terme religion réactionnaire, tel qu'il est visé dans les statuts, désignait le catholicisme. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer pourquoi et je pose simultanément une autre question nous expliquer la différence aux yeux des Khmer rouges entre la religion chrétienne et la religion musulmane ជាតិកាពីក្តីលោកអ៊ីងទ្រីសូមគ្រូលោកធានមិញសហភាពតាមេធាវីគាត់បានប្រាប់តែលេខអៀអិនតែលេខអាយកសារឈ្មោះអា
conditions on the ground in Cambodia. Christianity was associated in the Khmer Rouge mind with the Vietnamese. These, as we've seen from documents the last three days, uh, were consistently seen as uh, Cambodia's enemy, if not its major enemy. The term were considered in, in Cambodian society before the revolution as members of, of the Cambodian society, as the Vietnamese were not entirely considered in, in the pre-revolutionary times. Their religion was uh, tolerated. Uh, I think what angered the uh, Khmer Rouge about the Cham and about their, was their stubbornness at uh, hol uh, holding on to their religion, not the uh, attributes of the religion itself, reactionary is what they called it, but I think they knew almost nothing about Islam. They, what they did see is they saw people who uh, were refusing to abandon their uh, religion, refusing to uh, accept the new uh, religion, in quotation marks, of the uh, Merci, professeur. La religion était-elle un moyen d'identifier les Cham Well, there, yeah, it was, it was one of many. Uh, their uh, clothing, their uh, temples, their uh, language was often, uh, they, many of the Nukmai, but they had language of their own related to uh, Indonesian and Malay. Uh, they were instantly recognizable to anyone on a street in uh, Kampot or Kompong Cham in pre-revolutionary days. This business of perhaps looking different was enough in a way to anger the Khmer Rouge, just as the city dwellers with their uh, Western clothing angered them. Uh, the charm were set aside as people who were resistant and un can't say unwilling, but are not cooperating with the regime. So religion was certainly an aspect but the, uh, we've come across in the Constitution, I think two days ago, the wonderful phrasing, the Cambodians are free to practice any religion, but all reactionary religions are out. So there's no religion that the Khmer Rouge didn't think was reactionary, so maybe you could find, I'm making a joke here, I'm sorry, maybe that's not permitted, but Scientology might have been okay, but that wasn't in Cambodia at the time. The other religions where it were existed were reactionary. So in other words, the Constitution itself, by indirection, after first making a phrase that be pleasing to an overseas audience, then made, made it clear that there was really no patience or tolerance for religious activity. And this is, of course, what one of the things that set the charm aside. Uh, another one which shows up in all the documents and su suggests why the uh, the uh, attacks on the charm did not begin immediately in 1975 is um, that the uh, charm were not considered to be enemies of the state in the same way that the Vietnamese were. And another reason why the repression started is the charm, unlike other portions of the population, in individual cases, began actively to revolt against the Khmer Rouge in 1976. This led the Khmer Rouge to change their mind and find that these people were inherently dangerous, and this led to the systematic persecution of these people that happened later on. Not for their religious beliefs, but for their refusal to accept and their behavior. Merci, Professeur. Je voudrais vous donner lecture de la pièce E3-178 en Khmer, ERN 0027-55-87, jusqu'à 98, en anglais 0034-27-08 jusqu'à 23, français, 00 62 33 04 jusqu'à 21. Il s'agit du compte rendu hebdomadaire de comité de la région 5. Il y a des éléments du 17 avril venant de Phnom Penh qui sont des Chan, qui ont protesté dans le réfectoire de la coopérative au sujet de leurs croyances et de la nécessité de consommer la nourriture 
en conformité avec leur religion. Il a relaté l'article 10 de la Constitution pour argumenter son discours. Face à cette situation, nous avons pris des mesures et en particulier elle constituait à trouver sa filière et le chef de ce mouvement afin de les nettoyer. Je reviens sur la question de la consommation et de la nourriture, manger du porc. Et est-ce que, après la religion, l'obligation de manger ou, ou pas du porc était un moyen d'identifier les cham et de les nettoyer et Je vous demanderai de m'expliquer ce que veut dire nettoyer. Ceux qui ne veulent pas manger de porc. Sweeping clean bottom up is a Cambodian phrase for purge. Uh, I, I think they knew who the chams were already. My impression from the things I've read, and I've read a good deal about this in my work, although I've never concentrated on it, is that a lot of this forcing to eat pork can't be described as anything else but just t sadism, just something that they could do that they knew would hurt and offend, isolate. But I don't think it was used as a test, say, as uh, circumcision was used in the Holocaust. As I, a way of identifying the charm. I think the charm were not trying to conceal themselves. Uh, they were known to be, they were known, they were known, to be, they were known who they were. But the, the pork was just to further humiliate, uh, and uh, it's just one of the many aspects of just uh, kind of day-to-day -day sadism of the Calgary Cavalry. Je voudrais porter à votre connaissance parce que vous avez indiqué euh, juste précédemment que les Cham ne se sont pas révoltés euh, avant 1975. Document 21.3. Euh, Khmer, Eren, 00004494. Anglais, 00185064 jusqu'à 65. Français, 00387260. Il s'agit de Télégramme 15, à l'attention du respecté et bien-aimé camarade Bang Paul. En principe, la zone a enlevé 50 000 habitants et les a confiés au nord. Donc il reste encore plus de 100 000 musulmans dans la zone est. Nous les avons retirés seulement aux points principaux au bord du fleuve et le long de la frontière, mais pas au district de pas au district de Tbong Kmun. Pardon. Cette déportation était le principe de division dont nous avions discuté avec vous, Bang. Ceci est daté du 30 novembre 1975. Ma question, s'il n'y a jamais eu de soulèvement, d'opposition de la part des Cham, pourquoi mettre en place leur déportation et leur division Um, thank you. I, I stand corrected there. I don't think this telegram is one of the is a document that I've seen. It certainly is authentic and it goes, shows that a certain amount of pressure was being put on the Cham 
the east, well, I guess they call it the northeast around Kartir, probably, uh, as early as November 1975. Uh, I don't think this document in itself is evidence of uh, revolts, but it's quite possible that I, I was wrong in suggesting that there weren't any revolts in 75. The motive for breaking uh, the charm up, I think, is, um, again, without being stated, is simply as, as it's doing is to break them up. These are autonomous, uh, systematic communities with patterns of authority, pa uh, uh, consistency of religion, uh, 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 local, shared local history, uh, exactly the sorts of uh, nodules, if you like, that the regime wanted to break up along with families, city dwellers, army people, Buddhist monks, they represented an implicit threat by just maintaining their collective identity, which of course uh, they were very uh, eager to maintain and continue to maintain until it was uh, until they were broken up. So I, I take back my statement of revolt not before 76. That was just a, a memory of mine that they started in early. There were couples fairly small but uh, distressing to the regime uh, uh, uprisings uh, in the east. They could well be connected uh, with this November uh, date, so uh, I, I revised uh, my previous uh, statement because I've never seen this. I don't remember seeing this telegram, frankly. Merci, professor. Je, je pense que votre attitude et votre réponse doit conforter euh, la défense sur votre honnêteté puisque lorsque vous n'avez pas connaissance, vous le dites. Je viens, euh, reviens sur une, ce que vous venez de dire concernant une politique de distinction. Je vous ai interrogé sur le fait de manger du porc, le fait de pratiquer la religion. Je voudrais vous lire un passage du document D125 slash 75.1. Ça a été communiqué. Il s'agit d'une dame, d'une partie civile, qui explique qu'en 78, un groupe est venu euh, dans son village, de la zone ouest. Euh, alors, elle dit « Je suis la seule rescapée parce que je me suis déguisé comme d'une autre race. Un jour, à la fin de l'année 78, les Khmer Rouges ont assigné des hommes Cham à partir, à partir des adolescents à la construction d'une maison sur, dans un village lointain. Une vingtaine d'hommes ont quitté notre village pour cette mission. » Puis ils sont revenus chez nous et nous ont dit la nouvelle maison est construite, les Cham venaient habiter dans ce nouveau village. Sur l'ordre des Khmer Rouges, ma mère, ma grand-mère, mes frères et moi-même, nous nous sommes rendus dans la pagode. Je suis arrivé environ à 8 heures du matin. J'ai vu 30 familles Cham se rassembler pour embarquer dans un bateau. Les membres de ces familles étaient toutes des femmes, à l'exception des très jeunes garçons. J'étais sur le point de monter à bord du bateau avec ma mère, lorsqu'un cadre m'a séparé. J'ai été placé dans un groupe d'une quarantaine de filles célibataires. J'ai vu partir ma mère et tous mes frères et soeurs. On nous a ordonné de nous diriger vers le village de Tréa. Je passe. Les cadres nous ont demandé quelle est votre race. La première fille a répondu honnêtement qu'elle était Cham. Les suivantes ont adopté la même réponse. Ensuite, mon tour est arrivé. J'ai tenté ma chance en mentant. J'ai dit que j'étais Khmer. Le cadre, au oh, m'a poussé vers un mur. De ce fait, une dizaine de filles après moi ont également déclaré être Khmer. 
Elles ont été mises de côté avec moi. Un moment plus tard, celles qui avaient répondu qu'elles étaient cham ont été conduites hors de la maison. Je les ai regardées au travers les fissures d'un mur. Elles étaient... Il était un peu tard, dans la nuit, je ne pouvais encore voir clairement la scène, au clair de lune. J'ai vu un Khmer rouge amener une fille dont les yeux étaient bandés, avec une écharpe, vers la rive, en face de la maison. Ensuite, il lui a tiré la tête vers l'arrière, par l'écharpe, et lui a coupé la gorge. Bien sûr... Toutes les autres filles qui ont déclaré qu'elles ont également été gorgées. C'était pour répondre à votre remarque sur la distinction dont ont fait l'objet les Cham. Professeur Changler, à votre avis, est-ce que les Cham ont fait l'objet d'une politique d'extermination à la fin de l'année 1978. public statements began to refer to the point or the race The Cambodian race was not a word they'd used much before. It, of course, has absolutely nothing to do with uh, Marxist-Leninist uh, uh, terminology. It's a term that was meant to encourage the Cambodian uh, citizens to uh, pursue, engage, and win a race war against the Vietnamese, and by extension, not against the Cham, but against anyone else in the country who was not Khmer. So I think the, the key point is 78. I think in uh, the day one or day two, day one probably, I mentioned the various phases of the purges and the last phase of the purges, perhaps the, if you like, uh, craziest moments of the regime as it was coming apart at the center and all at the fringes also was this very strong racial, racist component which can't be uh, pushed back Uh, the racist component can't be pushed back, at least in documents, uh, to 75, 76. Certainly, you get things like the document you first showed me, a Cham person being called a Cham, which is, means I don't respect you, you're, you're lower than me. But the whole racial killing for, obviously in this case, racial, not religious, racial reasons is a 78 uh, phenomenon uh, connected with the raids into Vietnam conducted by the uh, Khmer Rouge forces, whose, which, whose object was, as we've seen from other documents submitted in the uh, case, were to kill Vietnamese because they were Vietnamese, not because they were uh, yet at war with Cambodia, but because they were Vietnamese. So uh, the very moving passage has to be put into the context of that final, um, uh, you know, um, Damarong of the, of the Khmer Rouge, the, the implosion uh, as part of that. So it's inexcusable and awful, but that's where it fits in history. Uh, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je m'efforce de poser deux questions, donc de terminer avant écart, avant 15, 16h15. Je vais très vite. 
ហើយបាទអរគុណហើយមន្ត្រីគ្រប់Vraiment merci, Monsieur le Président. Professeur, je vais aller très vite, vous l'avez compris. Vous avez retenu la date de 78 pour nous indiquer que cela correspondait à euh, l'apogée de la folie. Je vais vous lire un témoignage, document D125-98, ERN Khmer 00-21-85-53 jusqu'à 54. Anglais 00-24-20-87 jusqu'à 88. Nous nous situons en 77. Les exécutions ont culminé en 77. La majorité des victimes étaient des peuples nouveaux, mais en septembre et octobre 77, il y avait beaucoup de Cham qui ont été massacrés. Dans le monastère de Otrakun. Je me rappelle très bien la date. Pas très bien la date. Mais en 77, le chef de mon unité est venu me dire que des agents secrets au long sabre avaient besoin d'aide, puis a ordonné à mon groupe de quatre personnes d'aller au village de Sambuor Meas. Dans ce village, ils ont arrêté tous les villageois. On m'a confié, à moi et à mes trois autres personnes, de les escorter au monastère de Otrakun. On ne ligotait pas ces victimes. Les villageois avaient peur. Certains criaient, mais aucun n'osait prendre la fuite. J'y avais pitié de parce que la majorité des gens, je les connaissais, je pêchais avec eux. À l'arrivée au centre de Otrakun, on divisait les villageois. Les femmes étaient poussées dans le temple et on frappait les hommes à coups de barre de fer pour les terrifier. Puis on les enfermait dans le temple. Je ne je ne voyais pas les actes d'exécution de mes propres yeux, mais mon ami nommé Moéoun, grimpeur de palmier à sucre, me disait qu'on avait amené ces villageois pour les exécuter. Le soir, de 7h jusqu'à minuit, les enfants inclus, ces enfants-là ont été fracassés contre les troncs des arbres, puis leur corps jeté dans la même fosse où se trouvait le corps des vieux, situé à côté du coin à l'est du monastère. Là-bas, il y avait aussi des femmes prisonnières, mais elles n'étaient pas menottées. Puis Moéoun me disait qu'on les avait enfermés, même pas pour une nuit. Ensuite, on les a amenés vers le coin de bambou, qui était l'endroit de l'exécution. Personne ne m'a dit les raisons, mais je constatais qu'on prenait des mesures contre ceux, contre les Cham. Nous sommes donc avant 78. C'était l'avant-dernière point. Je voudrais juste maintenant vous interroger, monsieur, sur la relation particulière qui, existe entre, qui existait entre Pol Pot et Kyosampan.
សំគ្រប់លោកធានហើយខ្ញុំមើលមកវិជ្ជាណាបតែខ្ញុំសំភៃទោសដោយសារខ្ញុំឡើងមកជំទាស់ចំពោះសំណួរនេះពិភពថា
ហើយអង្គមរះសម្រេចបរិស័យនៅលើសំណើសុំនេះជាលើកទីពីសម្រេចរួចហើយដូច្នេះអង្គមរះមិនត្រួតពិនិត្យនៅក្តីសម្រេ
เป็นจำนวนการตรับตะเคียนการลูกในโรงเรียนในจุดนี้ในบรรทอนจอบในหลายที่ให้สำนักก็สำนักการหนึ่งประตูทั่วในทั้งไงมาเผยใบใครก็ได้ชนะปีบอลปีเตี้ยนหรือชนะเอาเงินได้ส่งมาเจอโลกสัตว์จ้าหมกบรรทอนประตูตะเคียนการในทั้งไงชั้นสับดำสับดาคราวนี้เตี้ยนให้ส่งสัตว์จ้าบานชุบตุ่มระปีทั้งไงนั่งเรียนในจีกรงพนมฟิงมันเตยรัฐบาลตลาดกาสำหรับรวมจมูกหนึ่งองค์พิบกองปีศาจเซย์เนี่ยจมูกนี้ของกาจูนเนี่ยจมูกนี้เบอร์ตลอดตะการตีกลายเนี่ยกดขนาดเนื้อให้หนึ่งเอาจมูกกอดตลอดมากันกลายเราจะให้กำลังกระตุกสำนักการในวิ่งในไงจันดำสับปะราคร้อยในวิเลียมังบุญบุญประกอบอาหารเนื้อมันตีคงแข็งน้อมคลุ้นจุนจบเจ้าต้องไปรูปตะการมันตีคงแข็งในอวตารกวิ่งให้หนึ่งเอาน้อมคลุ้นประกอบมากันกระตุกสำนักการในวิ่งในปรึกไงจันที่แบบไปใบขายกากระดาษนำปีบอลปีอ้อยบันมุนมองประมุนสมรจ้ะสมเจนกล่าวเจอ